All right, we have Andrew here with Smart Fitness. This is a home-based hip and lower body workout to help reduce lower back pain and get you up and out of that seated position and standing upright with good posture. So we're gonna start with marching in place. This allows the, us to get some heat through the body and warm up. This is gonna be 60 seconds. After 60 seconds of this, your heart rate should be up, your hips, your glutes, everything should be nice and warm. The goal is to turn the torso, but start small. Start with this, then build to this. If you want a big challenge, build to this or this. So again, marching in place and turning for 60 seconds. The next thing we're gonna do is start connecting the dots between the ground our glute and our abs. It's gonna work on balance, but it's also gonna be stability for this leg. So we're gonna stand here, we're in a clock. We've got 12, we've got three, we've got six, and we've got nine. We're gonna take 10, nine, eight, seven seconds out of that 12 o'clock time frame. What's gonna happen here is the goal is you should feel your foot, you should feel your glute on this side, and your abs holding you in place and connecting to balance. If you're having a hard time with 10 seconds, drop it to five. If you're having a hard time with five seconds, do a touch and then return back to the middle. So in real time, here's what it's gonna look like. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up to here, then out a little bit. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up to here, then back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we've got a tricky one now, and around. So we're trying to open the hips, keep the shoulders forward for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch legs. I'm gonna turn to the side, so you can see what my torso is doing. So we're out to 12 for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stand up, out to the side for nine o'clock, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're up, we're going back to six o'clock, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're up to here, now we're around for 10, nine, turn the hips, keep the shoulders square. Five, four, three, two, and perfect. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is what's called a split squat. So the split squat is gonna require you to put your foot up on something behind you. Typically a chair is going to work the best. So what we'll do is we'll come up here, we'll put our foot up on a chair, we'll hop out a little bit, and then all we're gonna go ahead and do is descend and then ascend. Our focus is to open this hip and create a connection to this glute and then of course the opposite side glute. So we're gonna go ahead and do 12. So we're down, one, two, three, four for 12 reps, then we switch sides. So we find that chair, Switch sides, up and down for 12 reps. Okay, from there we're gonna to go to the floor to a single leg bridge. Our single leg bridge is designed to continue that connection through the glutes and the abs. We lay straight down onto our back. We bring our feet about just out of reach of our hands. We tuck our hips, lift, arms up, and then extend one leg. If you feel confident here and you're able to hold yourself in position pretty easily, you can go ahead and add one, two, three, 10 to 12 reps, okay? Then you're gonna go back down, tuck, lift, switch to the other side. If you feel confident, you're gonna do reps. If you're having a hard time holding yourself up here, you're just gonna do the hold. So we would go ahead and do some reps, 10 to 12. Now, to finish this exercise off, we're always gonna go back down, 
tuck, lift, and then do our bridge with both legs. So we engaged our left glute, we engaged our right glute, now we're gonna use them together. Important, we're never allowing this to arch our back. If you feel like you're J-Lo walking down the red carpet, you're in the wrong position. You're supposed to tuck those hips underneath, engage those glutes, and then lift from there. Up and down for 10 reps. So we had our warm up, which was marching in place for 60 seconds. Then we had our clock balance and stability drill. And then we have our strength part of the movement, which is a split squat, where you're standing with one foot behind you. And then we have our bridges on the ground. All you're gonna go ahead and do is repeat your split squat, okay, on both sides. And then your bridges, single leg and then double leg, okay, single leg for 10. And then double leg for 10, two times. So we have marching for 60 seconds. We have clockwork balance, 10 seconds at each time. We have our split squat and then our bridge for strength in the glutes. Should take about hmm, something like 10 or so minutes to complete in real time. If it takes longer than that, you wanna use less rest. Of course, consult with your physician before you start any exercise program. If you experience lower back pain during this, stop and come and see us or your physician. Have a great day, everyone.